Hey, uh, it's been a hot minute, but in the time that I've been gone, I've learned a few neat tricks that I'd like to share with you guys. And the first one is getting around XD's prototyping in straight lines. So usually if you're auto animating something in XD, the object goes from frame one to frame two in a straight horizontal, vertical, diagonal line. And sometimes we don't want our objects to go in a straight line. Sometimes we want them to curve like the sun along its day to night path. This is what would normally appear. It would happen in three steps. The sun would go up and the sun would go down in a straight line. But as you can see here, we have it arcing seamlessly along the path and we do have the face animating perfectly and this is only two frames. Sun frame one, sun frame two, and that is it. And the way that this works is that it's very similar to how you would prototype a clock in auto animate just by rotating a circle. Um, and this can also work by rotating rectangles because the auto animate will rotate around the center point. And here you can see it in action without the outlines. It appears to go in a S formation. And so our sun in the animation would just be the singular object grouped with an invisible circle. So here I'll quickly go through the process of actually creating it. So here we have the sun and the horizon and the grass. And this is all we need for starters. The only other objects that we'll need will be a rectangle for the mask and a circle to group the sun with. And our circle is going to be the width of the horizon. And I'm going to center it with the horizon so the anchor point it will animate around the center there. And then I'm going to hide the border and the fill and group it with the sun. So command G to group or right click group. The sun will animate along that axis. And so this will be frame one and our sun will start underneath the horizon. And then for frame two, our sun will rotate underneath the opposite side of the horizon. For our finishing touch, just to give it a bit more life, I'm going to click into here and rotate the face. Looking good. And then I'm going to straighten it out over here. Just the face. Perfect. So now when I go into prototype mode, I will click and drag our handle. I'm going to set it on a timer with a delay of zero. And I'm having it ease in and ease out at 2.5 seconds. And then I'm just going to set this on a timer with a transition. I'm going to set this to 0.5. And now if we take a look, perfect. Now our only issue is that the sun is visible underneath the horizon and we don't want it to be. So I'm going to go back to design open up the rectangle tool and bring it over the space that the sun will arc. And then I'm going to take that rectangle and the sun group and I'm going to mask with shape. And now I'm going to copy that same rectangle from that group. And I'm going to paste it here and do the same thing. And now if you remember from our previous videos, we want our group names to be the same, and as you can see, one is mass group one and one is mass group two. So I'm going to rename both of these to the same title, and this way Auto Animate recognizes them both as the same object. It works seamlessly. That's going a little bit too fast, so I'm going to slow that down to four seconds, and that should do it. Looking good. All right, that's the end of the video. That's all I've got for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys learned something new from this and hopefully you can apply it to other things in your illustrations or your interfaces or what have you. It'll be neat to see those one day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Farewell.